Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to change your email addresses that are used in Magento. That's right, Dave. So let's jump across to Magento and we'll catch up there with you in a few moments time. So Dave, we've been to come across to our Magento dashboard and we need to go into system and then configuration from the bottom of that menu. Now, Dave, I'm actually going to be covering three different sections as part of this tutorial. The reason being is that I've seen it put in the general section before. I've seen like maybe you've done this as well. So we're going to cover a DAF section and then the other two sections are kind of obvious once you see them. So with that said, let's start with the not so obvious section, which is underneath general, then click on general. And then the last option on this page is going to be for store information. So if you don't have this expanded out just yet, click on that row. And the reason why I'm bringing you to this page is because I've seen people put their email addresses in this store contact address section at the bottom. Okay, now of course, if that's you, change your email address there and then press save config. The next section which you'll want to go to is store email addresses. Now, we've got all these sections expanded, but of course, if you don't have them expanded yet, just click on these rows and they'll all expand out. So this is where you can change your sender's name. So we've got OSU and the sender's email address and you'll want to update your email addresses as desired. And of course, if you do make some changes here, remember to press save config in the top right hand corner. Also, Dave, underneath the contact section, on the left hand side is that if you have the contact us section enabled on your Magento website, which most Magento websites do, is that you may also want to change the email addresses where those emails are sent to. So where it says send emails to, you want to update that email address and then press save config. Now Dave, those are the basic settings. Now. I'm going to go off the script here a little bit because there are other sections where you may have your email address entered on your Magento website. Now, these two are slightly advanced. So if we lose you in the talking of configuration scopes and things like that, don't panic. We have separate video tutorials on YouTube and also over on understandingee.com, which will help you with those topics. Now, with that said, the first two are really straightforward, Dave. The first one is up to CMS and then into pages. So for example, maybe on the about us page is that we may have been in, entered in our email address manually into that page. So to edit the content on the about us page, we would click on the content tab on the left hand side. And of course, then within this page, you can then go and edit. Oh, look, Dave, can you see in here? We've got our company name and our street address. Yeah. We may have also included our email address. Aha. Uh -huh. And you may want to update or check those pages, especially if you're changing your email address from something like sales or to customer support for example. So that's how you can edit CMS pages. Basically choose the page which you're after and then click on the content tab. The other section which we need to check on is in static blocks. So go to CMS and then into static blocks. And of course, Dave, we can actually search within these contents. But if you can remember which block you've edited in there, and again, most static blocks, and we're using the Ultimo theme with our Magento website, so most of the static blocks are really obvious. So maybe down in foot of payment, for example, we can then go in here and then see if we need to update any of those as well. Now, obviously you would check the front end of your Magento website to go and check those. And Dave, the advanced piece here, is to do with the configuration scopes within Magento. So we're going to go back to system. Oh, actually, we've not covered how to change your own email account. So can I squeeze that one in as well, Dave? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay, system, my account. So if you've wanted to change your own email address, okay, system, and then my account, and you can change your email address in there. Okay, and of course, then you'll need to put in your current password and then press save account. And then for the really advanced users, so those are the users which are using maybe multiple store views or multiple Magento sites, 
is that you're going to want to take special attention to this current configuration scope box in the top left hand corner. Now if I drop ours down Dave, can you see that we've got default config, okay, and that's where we normally want to make all our setting changes to. But then we've got one called Marketplaces, so that's our Magento website, and we've named ours Marketplaces because over at Understanding E we use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon, okay, not just the Magento website. But we've also got different store views. So in here, so for eBay DE, for example, so if I go and choose eBay DE as a store view, and then go into store email addresses, we may have overridden the email addresses used in here, either at a store view level, okay, so one of these white ones, or maybe at a website level with marketplaces. So that's definitely worth checking if you're using Magento to power one or more Magento websites. And again, let's take the scenario that you're now watching this tutorial and you do have two different websites within Magento and you want one of them to have a different email address because it's on a different domain name, for example, is that using the current configuration scope, choose the other website Okay, so we're going to use marketplaces as the example here. That could be website two for you, or whatever your cool domain name is called. And then to override the names and the email addresses used, you untick the use default options, and then you can update the sender's name and the sender's email, and then remember to press save config in the top right hand corner. So Dave, I know I went off the script there a little bit, and I know we suddenly started getting deeper into configuration scopes and things like that, but just to cover all the bases, but did that kind of make sense to you? Yeah, totally. It was actually really straightforward. It makes sense where to change all the relevant email addresses. Yeah, and again, we also added in the My Account one, because you might be looking to change that as well, especially if you've changed domain names in your Magento system and you want to change your main notification email address, we showed you how to do that underneath System and My Account. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge how to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.